What's up everyone, Ricardo Horna here with The Scoop and welcome to the 22nd annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. We are on the red carpet and the celebrities are just about to get here, so you don't want to miss this. Um, so just a couple of things, what are you looking forward to the most tonight? Uh, talking to Trojan Vision, obviously. <laughs> Any advice for USC students that are looking to break into the industry or going to Hollywood? Uh, geez, think of an alternative. <laughs> Get a job, get, get any kind of starter job you can. Um, two of our writers and our writer staff started out as our personal assistants, and now they're now they're full-time writers and, and doing really well. So even if it's a really lowly job, even if it's um, crap pay, like anything that's got you working on set for somebody who knows what they're doing is uh, the best way to break in. Regardless of all the business, you know, it's show business, forget about the business. If, 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 if you want to go into it, make sure you really have a need to do it. I would say you should do plays. Mm -hmm. You should start with doing theater because it's uh, the best training ground there is, really. And uh, all the best actors I knew started in theater. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the place to like uh, find out who you really are as an actor. Uh, something that I've, I've, I've always done and found to be so important is to respect your crew. Mm -hmm. um, if you're given the opportunity to work, the most important thing you can do is respect your crew because they're there before you and they're there after you and they work 10 times harder than you and I don't care what acting job you're doing. Um, what advice do you have particularly to women that are looking to go into the industry? Um, never give up. There'll be a lot of rejection. There'll be a lot of people trying to turn you down and make you feel small, but know that you're not and that you can do their job and that you need to keep pushing forward and having those goals and doing your best. There's a lot of amazing shows and movies that are hitting on important social justice issues. Why do you think it's important for the world of Hollywood, whether you're an actor or an actress, to really hit on these issues? Well, I mean, when, it, when you're in front of a camera and you're exposed to millions of people, potentially, then it's really great when, you know, we have such a large, big, loud voice in entertainment to use it and to use it for good. And um, it's a wonderful thing to use it just to move people, to move people, not just to move people, but to move people in the right direction, to help open their hearts, open their minds, and um, to educate them somewhat through entertainment, I think is really important. What would you say is the most exciting thing that you're looking forward to tonight? Uh, just seeing a bunch of people that I uh, rarely get an opportunity to see, you know? It seemed like when I was in New York, we were always bumping into each other on the streets here in LA, not as much, so. This is just a gathering of, uh, you know, SAG after actors, and it's a room full of people that I'm uh, looking forward to seeing. Oh, man, seeing all your friends. You know, I mean, this is just a great night. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of people that you've kind of come up with over the years. For me, someone who took me forever to just sort of get into it, you know, get going. You meet a lot of people along the way, and this is a night where you get, like, you get a lot of them together. That's a wrap for the 2016 Screen Actors Guild Award. Thank you all so much for watching, and this has been Ricardo Horna with The Scoop.